We have been waiting for episode 65 for a very long time. Six days have already passed since the release of episode 64, and we now know that Dafuk releases videos once a week. Everyone was expecting a new episode on the 5th or 6th, but some problems happened in Dafuk's Discord and in this video we will talk about this. During this video, a new leaked frame was released for episode 65, and we will talk about it at the end of this video. We will also discuss several theories about episode 65, and I will also tell you when the new episode will be released. So be sure to watch this video to the end so as not to miss anything. I also want to tell you thank you very much because there are already 120,000 of us, and I'm incredibly glad that my little dream has come true. The next goal is 500,000, and I hope we can do it together. I also want to congratulate the winner from the last video under the nickname, Your Life Matters. So my congratulations. Hello friends, you're on the <laughs> channel. Subscribe to the channel and press the like button under the video to speed up the release of the next video. And let's go. I decided not to wait for the leaked photos and decided to make a video based on the information we have. Now I will tell you the possible plot of the 65th episode and perhaps even the whole season. If you watch my videos, then you know that we have already managed to predict the plot of the new episodes even before their release, and I've collected some cool theories for you. But first, we'll look at the message from Dafuk's official Discord, and if you don't mind, I'll read it to you. Hello, dear friends. As you may have noticed, Brian and Arming no longer are the owners of this server. The reason for this is very simple. Someone that added Brian, or had ban intent officially mass-reported his account. This resulted in Brian's account being officially being warned by Discord Trust and Safety. For safety, he removed everyone and left all DM groups. As we do not wish to lose this amazing community and I have been working with Brian for the last few years, we agreed upon transferring the ownership to me. I will not be replying to DM's friend requests or questions about personal info, whatever this might be. Nothing has changed except the fact that Brian and Arming no longer have the owner role. I will be in charge of this server and its members and only I will. I will be your nightmare if you misbehave. I might look like a nice bird, but I am not. Sometimes may be good, sometimes may be sh He says that nothing has changed, but I want to ask a question. Where is the leaked frame? When Brian and Arming were there, they always informed us. But now that six days have passed and we know absolutely nothing about the release date of the new episode, it's possible that even the new episode will be released without a leaked frame maybe even tomorrow, but we'll talk about it a little later. Let's start with an interesting detail that I didn't pay much attention to in my analysis of episode 64, and this is an acid rocket. And friends, this is actually a very important detail, and this scene is bad news for the agents. And remember that in episode 55, exactly the acid was able to damage the cameraman that he had to get rid of his weapon. And just imagine what would have happened to him if the acid had gotten on his head or core. If this had happened, it's unlikely that Cameraman would have been able to survive after this. But in episode 64, Cameraman is lucky that he has a shield, and we also need to remember that he has protection on the core. But what protection does the Speaker Man have? And if acid gets on him, it's the end. And now the agents may have very big problems. Until episode 57, the toilets improved their parasites and tried to capture the agents, especially such strong fighters as the Titan Cameraman. But after episode 57, it became clear that the agent's anti-parasitic tools had become very strong, and the idea of parasites was no longer relevant. And in episode 64, the toilets came up with a new strategy. G-Man and the scientist already want to just kill our titans, and that's why we see the trap sign on the TV screen. And also in this episode, we see attempts to kill the titans. The first time it was a rocket with acid, and if it weren't for the shield, the cameraman would have been left without an arm, and the second attempt would destroy two titans at once with a bomb. But it is also important to note that when we first saw Acid in episode 55, there were Astro Toilets. But we remember that they have problems with G-Toilet, and that if Acid is the development of Astro Toilets, and they wanted the Titans to always be killed, because they were afraid that infected agents could be cured. And that's why after episode 57, Astro Toilets got angry at G-Man because he didn't kill the Titans, but wanted to infect them. But the Skibidi scientist saved him, and convinced him to use Acid in battles. And that's why we see a rocket with acid in episode 64. But that's not all, friends. This is just the beginning. And what I'll tell you next will shock you. It turns out that the parasites were replaced with another weapon that can kill the titans. And I'm not just talking about acid, because against acid, the agents have a shield that can be installed on the speaker man. And perhaps we will see another secret weapon. And what I'm going to tell you sounds very crazy, but I'm talking about the Titan TV man who will fight against the titans. But we'll talk about that a little later. I want to talk a little about the Plunger Man, 
since he returned in episode 63, but in episode 64, we didn't see him. So I think that in episode 65 or 66, we will see him again. And maybe we will be shown this agent in love. And I think that he will be stronger or that new technologies will be added to him. There is also a chance that the plunger man will die, but you ask me, what are you talking about? But now I will explain. Dafuk is inspired by Marvel films and my viewers who watch my videos to the end know that in the Skibidi toilet, there are many moments taken from Marvel films. And Plunger Man remind me of the character of Iron Man. And so Plunger Man sacrificed his life in episode 57. And in episode 63, he returned improved. Iron Man also sacrificed himself, but he also survived and then improved. And in the last Avengers, he also sacrificed himself, but this time it was the end. And no matter how sad it may sound, I think the same thing will happen with the Plunger Man. Because if you do episodes with immortal heroes, it won't be interesting because you don't worry about the hero because he always wins. And maybe it is after this trap that the agents will have big problems and the mutants will begin to dominate again. And what exactly this trap will be is too early to say. But I will tell you one crazy theory. What if, in episode 47, the Titan teleported to the wrong place and ended up with the Skibidi scientist? And the Skibidi scientist was still able to infect the Titan, and then he improved himself, and he also improved the captured Titan. And this is exactly such a trap, because I have never seen such a satisfied face of G-Man, which means that there will be something very powerful, or perhaps TV-Man fell into a pool of acid during the teleport, since we have already seen a character who spat acid, and what do you think of the theory that it was the acid that brought this skull back to life? And just like that, the Titan could turn into the same zombie. And if this is so, then it is he who will be able to fight the Titans, because only acid could somehow cause damage to the Titan. So anything is possible, but friends, this is a crazy theory, and remember I said that we guessed some of the events that happened in the new episodes? But there were also many cases when our theories did not come true. But I'm not sad about it, and I don't give up. The series is very unpredictable, and no one can be 100% sure. But I have something interesting for you. Not long ago, I found a new leaked frame from episode 65, and it looks very believable. This frame was leaked on the stream of this blogger. I don't know what it has to do with Dafuk, but the frame is very high quality. And if you believe this frame, then perhaps the final battle will be in episode 65, and that's why he's been gone for so long. And perhaps the new episode will be the longest of all. And in this photo, we see how Cameraman wants to kiss G-Man. But in fact, this is a fight between Cameraman and G-Man. And perhaps this is the final battle in which the Titans will lose. For some reason, I think so, but as always, these are only theories. And we are not sure that this is a real leaked frame and not a fake. But also write your theories in the comments. If this is a real leaked frame, then the new episode will be released tomorrow or after tomorrow. And then we will know about everything. And I will also do an analysis for this episode, so subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. And we don't say goodbye. We will meet in my new video, so see you. And we don't say goodbye. We will meet in my new video, so see you.